What's good, people? It's your boy Kelly back with another video. So today we got some kids taking the police on a joyride. Let's see how that turns out. If you enjoy the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. He needs to stop. Now, for the parents out there with their kids, uh, you gotta watch them because right now your kids are in dangerous situations and where the parents at right now before they get hurt. I don't wanna hear the parents come after the kids get hurt saying my baby, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be there before shit happen. Be preventative. Now, hopefully nobody got hurt, but you see what I'm saying, people? You got to watch the kids because they could be out here doing sh like this, wind up dead, wind up killing somebody else. It's not right. It's not fair. A police pursuit ends with a wild crash. Fox 6 is Ashley Sears live with all the details. And Ashley, this crash was caught on camera. That's right, Mary. This all happened at 76th and Villard. That police pursuit coming to a crash here in the parking lot of Hart Auto. You can see cars are smashed, windshields are shattered, and there is debris everywhere. Now, this is surveillance. You can see police chasing after a stolen black Jeep. That Jeep crashes into a red vehicle. The Jeep hits a fire hydrant and the car goes airborne. People the damage that they did out there you know what i'm saying what if you just walking on the sidewalk minding your business well you're out of here you woke up this morning did your daily routine and didn't have no clue that a car was gonna go loose on the sidewalk and take you out of here that's the type of shit i'm talking about just gotta be careful out there man it flips several times, bouncing from car to car in the parking lot here. The Jeep lands in the street as police draw their guns, approaching it. Now, the owner of that Jeep tells us she was carjacked yesterday by a teen boy while she was driving for Lyft. She tells us she picked up that teen boy and then he pulled a gun on her. No one here at Heart Auto was injured. We have reached out to Milwaukee police to get more details. Reporting live at 76 in Villard, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. On to the next video. Seen each other, right? We're not like, huh? What was this? Who is this? Why are you coming up in my house like that? Who is this? Why does it matter? Why do it matter? Because this is committing adultery. That's why it matters. But you in my house. But you committing adultery. We're not together, then. It don't matter. We still married, Victoria. But we're not together. Y'all messing with each other? 
Y'all messing with each other? Keep it real. Y'all messing with each other? Y'all talking. Y'all seeing each other, right? So you recording this for what? Y'all seeing each you other? You recording this for what? Is y'all seeing each other? I got the flashlight on you. Is you seeing her? No, you recording it. Is you seeing her? For what? My man, is you seeing her? You asking him, is he seeing me for what? Is you seeing her? Is you seeing her? Bro. Bro what? Is he saying that yes or no? Why are you coming up in here like that? But is he oh, saying God, it, bro? Is you saying just it? Here and just, just would, here, bro. Just here doing what? Just here. Just here doing what? Bro, how this gonna go? How it's gonna go? Bro, I don't want no he I don't want nothing. Get who kids? Oh, man, no, he's not getting nobody. This is my day. You're not getting my Your children. Day, no. We wanna see you talking about it. No. Tongue and everything. <laughs> Does that go on YouTube? <laughs> hmm. Sure. Alright. It lasted this long. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do this. No, I take it back. I can't do this anymore. I take it back. Bullshit. I gotta go. I'm out. Nope, I'm out. Who buzzed I'm out, out here? I think she buzzed. Yeah. She can't. Or she, he buzzed her out. I don't know what the hell Yeah. Wait a minute. First of all, why did you go for the freshness? Second of all, mm. did she just buzz you out and it's not even her job? Yeah. <laughs> I was curious. I want to see how far that went. That was fun. I enjoyed myself. <sighs> Alright people, so in this next one, we got a young black man walking home in the snow, no jacket, somebody thought that was crazy, and called the police. Let's get into it. Hey man, Ooh. you trying to get home? Are you trying to get home? 18 year old Rodney Reese was stopped by Plano police officers while walking home from work at Walmart during the Texas freeze last Tuesday night. Police say someone called, concerned, that a black male wearing a short sleeved shirt was stumbling along the icy conditions. It was a welfare check. Reese lives with his mom just a few blocks away, right down the street from where he works. He repeatedly told officers he was fine. Sir, look, we just want to talk to you. All right? I'm on the way home. I'm straight. Okay. Okay. But you're walking in the middle of the road. Okay, listen. The young man's minding his business. He's cold. He know where he's going. He's 18. He's moving on. He's doing his thing. Y'all coming to mess with him. Nobody wants the police messing with them when they coming home from work, just trying to get home, bro. What's wrong with you? I'm not wearing a jacket. That's my choice. All right. I understand it. Okay. I do this every night, literally. I'm straight. Okay. You ain't cold or nothing? No. With that cheese shirt on? Officers continued to follow him, however, for two minutes and 17 seconds. We're doing an investigation. I don't care. I'm going home. You were officially detained. No. Yes. Okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Bro before handcuffs were placed around his wrist. Just relax. Just relax, all right? Just relax. We're just trying to talk but to I you. Got an I got an anger problem. Please get off me. Y'all not going to, y'all not, no. See, man, right here, this isn't even fair. He already said he got an anger issue. He's minding his business. He's not committed any kind of crime. You talking about he's officially detained. For what? What, what crime? No crime. Just want to stop him. Obviously, he's black. Listen, look, hey. Elephants in a room, 600 pound gorilla, whatever you want to call it. Come on, bro. I'm sorry, I didn't even touch. Yeah, you didn't stop. Put your hands behind your back now. You are not free to go. Wow. The next thing you do is going to be get a charge right now. For what? Because you're pushing on an officer. I'm not pushing. How am I pushing on? Reese was arrested for walking in the street. The official charge, pedestrian in the roadway. The high school student spent the night in jail. They just treated me like I was a criminal or something. The teen says he was walking along the street because the area off to the side of it, seen in this photo taken the next day, was covered in ice and snow. He says he kept walking away. All right, now some may argue that this young man should have stopped and listened to the police and whatever they had to say, yada, yada, yada. But he's cold. He knows what he's doing. He's going home. He's not a pet. He's not a child. He just got off work. He's tired. He don't want to hear this right now. So, yeah, he got annoyed because he didn't need help. Just a simple encounter. A simple encounter. That's why I tried to dodge you. So I couldn't make it home. I don't know. 
Friends and loved ones say he's just a good kid with a clean record who was scared. I know the kid's character. I know the kid's demeanor. Plano Police Chief Ed Drain backs his officers for checking on Reese. There's a lot of information that we know about this case that we didn't know at the time. Now, what kind of mess is this? You can't even walk home in your own neighborhood without needing a police escort to jail? What kind of sh is this, man? If y'all thought this was foul, check out this next video and see how that went down.